Hello and welcome. I'm Mary Fitch, Executive Vice President of the Washington Architectural Foundation, and we're so excited to present Architects Read. This program, like many of our other programs for children, is supported in part by the DC Commission on the Arts and Humanities and the Hattie M. Strong Foundation. If you'd like to learn more about our programs for children and adults, please visit our website at AIADC.com. And now for our first episode, this week we welcome Gina Volpicelli from Shalom Baranis Associates Architects, who will read The Three Little Pigs by Stephen Guarnaccia. Hi, I'm Gina. What's your name? Hi, it's great to meet you and I'm glad that you're here with us today. I'm here in Washington, DC. Where are you? Cool. Well, I am an architect here in DC and I work on buildings. So I design and plan buildings um, with a client and I put together drawings and models and then we give those drawings and information to a contractor and then he builds a building. So today we'll be reading The Three Little Pigs, An Architectural Tale by Stephen Garnacha. So come on over, let's, let's get started. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived in a big house in the forest. One day, the three pigs said goodbye to their mother and went off to make their way into the world. So here they are. Their mother's waving goodbye from their big house and they're walking out the front door. The first little pig decided to build his house of scraps. See all these little pieces? Scraps are leftover pieces, pieces that may not be like a full size of a piece of wood or lumber that you would get from the store. It looks like he used some metal and some fences and all different types of wood materials here. The second little pig decided to build his house of glass. So where do we see glass in houses? That's right, a window. So windows let light in, they let you see outside, make connections to your community and everything on what's going on outdoors. But the third little pig decided to build his house of stone and concrete. Have you seen this concrete truck on the streets before? I have. This one's pretty cool, it's, it has polka dots. Now there was an evil wolf who lived in the woods nearby. One day he came to the house of the first little pig and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. But the pig answered, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. This made the wolf so angry that he said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house of scraps away. So look at the little pig, he's just holding onto the front door and the rest of the building blew away. The first little pig ran as fast as he could to the house of his brother. And we see him here with his scraps of his house and then him running to the second house of his brother. Soon the wolf came to the house of the second little pig. The wolf called out, little pig, little pig, let me come in. The second pig answered, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. The wolf gnashed his teeth and said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he's blowing again and the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house to smithereens. You see all the pieces of glass from the glass house all over the place. So the two little pigs ran as fast as their legs would take them to the house of their brother. So we see them running again, the two of them, the first and second little pigs. Finally, the wolf arrived at the house of the third little pig. The wolf growled at the door, little pig, little pig, let me come in. So here he is again approaching the house of stone and concrete. But the third little pig replied, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin.
this enraged the evil wolf who roared, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but he couldn't budge the house of stone and concrete. So we see him here blowing and blowing away at the stone wall, and it doesn't even look like it's bothering the pig on the inside. The wolf said, little pig, meet me tomorrow at seven at Farmer Wright's, and I'll show you a fine tomato greenhouse. But the pig awoke at six. So an hour before the wolf said, he ended up going to the greenhouse. So the pig awoke up at six and picked the best tomatoes in the greenhouse and was home slicing them for lunch by the time the wolf arrived. So let's look at this greenhouse over here. It's, it's all glass. And what shape is that? That's right, it's a pyramid. It's pretty cool, huh? I'll get you yet, said the wolf under his breath. The wolf turned to the third pig's house and said, little pig, meet me tomorrow at six at Farmer Johnson's and I'll show you an orchard full of tasty apples. So the next morning at five, again an hour before, the pig was picking the best apples at Farmer Johnson's orchard when along came the wolf. Good, aren't they? Said, said the wolf. They certainly are, said the pig. Here, try one. As the wolf chased the apple, the third pig ran home to his house of stone and concrete. So the little pig tricked the wolf by throwing him an apple so he would go run after it so he could get out of there. That evening, the wolf went back to the third pig's house and said, I'll meet you at Frank's flea market tomorrow at five. So the pig arrived at four. He was admiring a fine rug when he saw the wolf approaching. So the, the pig is here checking out this colorful rug of all these different shapes and colors when he saw the, the wolf coming along. So he hid himself in the rug and rolled down the hill towards the wolf. The wolf sped away with the rug following after him. The third pig returned home where he and his brothers prepared a roaring fire in the fireplace and settled in for the evening. There's all these different things at the flea market, the table and the chairs, candlestick, a little radio. Tricked again, the wolf rushed to the third pig's house saying under his breath, little pigs, I'll get you yet. The wolf climbed onto the roof and shouted down the chimney, I'm coming in to get you. But the wolf tumbled, tumbled into the warring fire, scorching his tail. So we see the wolf over here climbing up onto the roof and looking into the chimney and making his way down. And then he comes down all the way in into the fire and he gets, he burns the end of his tail. The wolf ran from the house, smoke streaming after him and he was never seen in the forest again. So we see him taking off and the little pigs are on the balcony watching him. The three little pigs ate a supper of tomato soup and apple pie, and they lived happily ever after. So, the end. So they out, all the little pigs out tricked the wolf, outsmarted the wolf. Um, and so there's some really great illustrations in the back of this book. So we saw the first little pig's house was actually inspired by Frank Gehry, who, um, built a house in California out of all different types of materials. And um, Stephen was inspired by that house to make the first little pig's house. And the second house that we saw in the story was actually the glass house by Philip Johnson up in Connecticut. Um, so that's a house that's made out of man-made materials of glass and steel. And it's all glass and you could see everything around you. Um, and the third little pig's house um, was inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright um, and his falling water outside of Pittsburgh. So Stephen kind of take, took the classic story of the three little pigs and was inspired by all these different buildings around him and made a retold the three little pigs story. So 
one activity that you could do after this is I was inspired by the first Little Pig's house and decided to make a little model of it. This is out of recycled uh, boxes. So you could take a cereal box or a tissue box or a pasta box and kind of build a three-dimensional form of a house. And don't forget to put your little pig in for scale. So another thing you may want to check out is an activity that I put together as the scavenger hunt. And let me pull that up. If you go to the AIA website, so here, if you go to this link, you could download it. And it's a building uh, scavenger hunt where you could take um, the different questions and kind of look around your own home to see the different materials that are around you. So it was great seeing you today. Thank you so much for joining me and we hope to see you again soon.